block diagram. Easy. It's a simple diagram that shows at the glance the process. So no complications. I just want to see here the reactor. There's a gas separator and a distillation. It's the most used for mass balance solving. Why? Because we don't need to know how the reactor is operating. We just need to know the mass balance, what enters and what goes out. Now, gas separator, you don't need to know the mass separation principle that it works. You just need to know how much concentration or flow is going here, the mixed liquids, the concentrations, etc. And the distillation, you don't need to know how it operates. You don't need to know how many uh, plates do you need, how many, how much must be the diameter of the tower. No. You just need to know what goes up, what goes down, or the feed. Okay. So this is the most used because it's fast. Just if you're just interesting, interested in the mass balance, you just keep doing these ones and ignore all the ones I just draw here. Now, it's very important to include flows. This is one is the ones you need to include. These are all these arrows. Unit operations. I told you you don't need to know how they operate, but just like show them so you know like this box makes something magical. I like to call this like this black box because you don't know what happens there but something is happening. Let's put it there. And some extra data for example conversion. Actually you don't know how this you don't know how does it work so like how many degrees or how much energy it needs. You don't know like the reactions or etc. You just know that there's a 75% conversion. Okay. 